Okay, yeah, well, welcome back. Now we know how the comments are put in a PLSQL program. We'll take the next step and we'll learn how to resolve the compilation errors. Up till now, we have typed our code, PLSQL code, very correctly. We have not made any mistakes and therefore we did not see any errors. But this is a very uncommon situation. We will always make certain errors and then the compiler will tell us that there is an error at such and such line and then we have to understand how to read the output from the compiler and fix the errors. And this comes through a lot of practice but I am going to show you how to at least start with some resolving certain compilation error. So now before that again let us modify our program and actually create one error. So I am going to modify the same program but this time I am going to forget intentionally the semicolon there. As I had already mentioned each and every PLSQL program line ends with a semicolon and I have intentionally removed that I have created that error. Now since I have changed the program I have to compile it one more time prog1.sql and now this shows me that my procedure has been created but with compilation errors. This is not the procedure, the, the output that we would like to see. See here in the, in the previous session when I compiled a procedure this is the output I got procedure created but now this time when I compile a procedure I get the output which is a warning. It says that it has been created but it's having compilation errors but it doesn't tell me what is the error. It doesn't tell me where the error is. So there is a command plsql command show errors. Once you type this command it gives some cryptic message. As you can see there is a line number and column number on, on this side and then there is a error on this side. Under the line number it says line number 13 column number 1. There, there is some error over there and let us try to understand this error. The error says now this time the error is not starting with ORA it is starting with PLS. It is a PLSQL error the programming language error the programming language error number is 103. But it, it is explained over here let us understand this. So it says encountered the symbol END it has encountered a symbol called as END on line number 13 when it was expecting one of the following. It was expecting either to have this or to have a dot or to have a uh, left parenthesis or to have a uh, percentage sign or it was expecting to see a semicolon. It means the compiler. The compiler was expecting to see a syntax like this but it found that end over there and that is on line number 13 there and we know now we have to kind of understand one of these symbols is missing and which one is that semicolon we have to go to line number 13 and we can find out the error over there. So how do you go to line number 13 uh, you can you can uh, directly type colon 13 in vi and it will take you to line number 13. Now as you can see our error is on line number 11 okay but it is telling me that there is something on line number 13 it is telling me that it has encountered a symbol end when it was expecting something else so uh, it's not exactly going to tell you that this is what is missing semicolon is missing it's going to tell you somewhere close by the line number and it will give you certain hints and that those hints are the ones you will keep on reading again and again uh, line number is not going to be the exact line number where there is there is an error but it will give you a certain idea a certain location or a narrowing down tunnel which will tell you that this is the area where the error is not exactly on line number 13 not exactly on uh, on column number 1 of that line 13 but it is telling you that it encountered end when it was expecting one of these things. Uh, it also tells you the symbol semicolon was substituted for end. This is a hint, not an exact solution there. So now I have changed the program, uh, fixed the error, and now I can compile it. And uh, I'm low on this space anyway. 
the procedure is compiled. So, this is how you solve the compilation errors. How do you do it? You compile the procedure, it will tell you that there are certain errors, then you type the command show errors. This is important thing. Once you type the command show errors, then it will show you all the errors and now, right now we have only one error there. Error is only one. Sometimes you will have almost literally hundreds of errors and when there are many, 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 many errors, you always try to solve the first error and many times it happens when you fix the first error, it resolves all the other errors after that. So, remember this thing, show error is, will show you all the compilation errors and then you fix it according to the first error, then the second, then the fourth. Do not try to fix the errors from the last one to the first one. Always go from the first to last. And here in this case, I cannot show you that because we have only one error. So, that is how you solve the compilation error problems. I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a good time.